Well, hello again. It's Nooch here, and here we are with this very first song for the Barbershop Virtual Chorus. I'm delighted to say that the song is If I Had My Way, which is a lovely song, and it's been arranged in the Barbershop style by David Harrington. I really can't thank David enough for allowing us to use this song as the first project for the Virtual Chorus. Okay, so before we talk about the detail of the song, let's just go through a few simple notes that will help you to produce a better sound. You're going to be sitting down while you're singing this song, so it's really important that you have good vocal support all the way through the song, have a nice straight back and have good posture. Think about breathing for a second. You might think this is straightforward, but before you take your first breath and sing your first note, make sure you breathe out, get all the old unusable air out, and as you can, during the song, refresh that. Um, from an emotional point of view, uh, one of the trademarks of barbershop songs is that the songs are always believable, and that's because we sing from the heart. If you can relate this song to somebody in your life, you'll find that you'll give a much better performance and you're going to feel great at the end. Maybe you could think about writing down the words, take them off the sheet music, have them in a separate context, and you'll find you get a greater understanding of the lyric. I did actually think about putting the words down on the screen for you as you sing, uh, but what I've done, I've asked you a series of questions on screen and uh, you'll be given your answer in lyric in song. Okay, so let's now have a look at the song in some detail. The first thing I'd like to look at are the breathing points throughout the song. The audio track that you have matches exactly where the breathing points are in the song. Slight discrepancy in the tag, but if you follow what happens in the audio track, that'll be fine. If you find that you can't get to a particular breathing point, don't breathe in between the words if at all possible. Uh, it's better to leave out a word, an unimportant word, or a vowel of part of a word. Instead, for example, this opening line, if you find you're running out of breath towards the end, you could miss out the word to, for example. Um, so it would sound like, I used to be the first one, cry, using a silent breath there, and if you breathe through the mouth shape of the word that you were going to sing, then it will be unnoticeable on the video. Um, in the intro, it's quite an unusual line. The lead line is all on one note. So this gives us a great opportunity to focus on the words. Another main feature of barbershop music is the fact that all of the words are understandable, and that's because barbershoppers use the vowels to carry the sound and then we use the consonants to emphasize the meaning so if you overemphasize the consonants you give the words greater meaning talking of vowels please do your best to match those on the audio track another key feature of barbershop is something that we call lock and ring now this will happen with well-tuned notes but just as importantly is excellently matched vowels. Throughout the song, you'll see me indicate where we're looking for maybe taller, fatter vowels, and then there are times when it becomes more pointy, bringing the sound right to the front of the mask. Okay, so let's take a look at measure 17, right at the start of the refrain. This is the first time that we sing the words, if I had my way, the title of the song, really need to emphasize these words. And we can use the H of had, take a lot of breath to do that, had my way. It will take a lot of her, but it will sound all the better for it. Measure 21, a garden of roses, an excellent phrase, gorgeous phrase. Join all of these words together and let them flow out of your mouth in one long phrase. Here in measure 23 is the first time we focus on the U vowel on the word U. Try and make this sound circulate. Have as much space inside your mouth as if you were singing an R vowel and then let the sound spiral out. This is then followed in measure 25 with the word thousand. Now you can afford to chew this word, spend your time in it, thousand, so we can hear all the wonderful sounds in that word. In measure 28, this is when we start the Just For You, which is then echoed a further two times. Each time, make the echo more intense. 
So increase the attention you give to the J of just. Just for you, just for you, just for you. And that will really help to build the emotion. As we move through the key change, let the sound lift. At this point, it's a good idea to check your posture uh, to make sure that you get ready for some big crescendos in the second half of the song. Here, when you get to measure 25, never grow old. See if you can try and focus on the face of your loved one. Have a picture of that person in your mind's eye. And it is okay if you get a tear in your eye. You're not allowed to cry though, that will disturb the sound. Then we get to the tag. And that's a real trademark of barbershop songs that we have a tag, and this one is excellent. Uh, make sure before you sing the tag that you replace any unusable breath at this point by making sure you breathe out before you breathe in because you're going to need it. Uh, this tag doesn't finish where you think either and the lift here in bar 47 is tremendous. Sing with all the energy and passion that you have and give this song the wonderful finish it deserves. Okay, now that's the song detail covered. When you're ready, go to the conductor tracks for your particular voice part on YouTube and get ready to sing your heart out. Good luck.